the shocking truth has finally come to light. Kim Kardashian, once the darling of reality television and social media, has been exposed for her deep involvement in the criminal activities of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. For years, the public has been captivated by the glamorous life of this famous socialite, but now the facade has crumbled, revealing a dark underbelly of corruption, deceit, and lawbreaking. In this exclusive video, we'll take you on a journey through the astonishing revelations that have rocked the entertainment industry to its core. You'll hear from key witnesses, see damning evidence, and learn how Kim Kardashian's thirst for fame and fortune led her down a path of moral bankruptcy. By the end of this video, you'll be left questioning everything you thought you knew about one of the world's most recognizable celebrities. This is a story of hubris, greed, and the high price of living in the limelight. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and prepare to be shocked by the downfall of Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian first burst onto the scene in the mid-2000s as the daughter of high-profile attorney Robert Kardashian, who famously represented O.J. Simpson during his murder trial. While her family had already gained some level of fame and notoriety, it was the release of a salacious sex tape featuring Kim and her then-boyfriend Ray J that truly catapulted her into the mainstream spotlight. From there, Kim leveraged her newfound fame into a career as a reality TV star, business mogul, and social media influencer. The Kardashian family show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, became a cultural phenomenon, turning Kim and her siblings into household names. Kim built a massive personal brand, leveraging her looks and public persona to amass a fortune through endorsement deals, cosmetics lines, mobile apps, and various other business ventures. Along the way, Kim's relationship with Sean Diddy Combs, the influential founder of Bad Boy Records, came under increasing scrutiny. The two had been close friends and collaborators for years, with Diddy even making cameo appearances on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. However, new evidence has emerged that their relationship went far deeper than anyone could have imagined. It all started with a tip received by a prominent investigative journalist who had been looking into Diddy's business dealings for some time. According to the source, Diddy had been using his friendship with Kim Kardashian to help cover up and conceal his involvement in a range of illegal activities including money laundering, racketeering, and even murder. Intrigued by the explosive allegations, the journalist began digging deeper, piecing together a complex web of connections and hidden transactions that linked Kim Kardashian directly to Diddy's criminal enterprises. What unfolded was a shocking tale of greed, deceit, and the abuse of power at the highest levels of the entertainment industry. The first piece of the puzzle came in the form of financial records obtained through a series of anonymous leaks. These documents revealed that Kim Kardashian had been receiving large sums of money from Diddy's various business ventures, often through layers of offshore shell companies and complex financial instruments designed to obscure the true nature of the transactions. Further investigation uncovered evidence that Kardashian had been actively involved in helping Diddy launder money funneling illicit funds through her own companies and personal accounts. This included using her considerable social media influence to promote Diddy's businesses, many of which were later found to be fronts for illegal activities. But the most damning revelation came when the journalist obtained access to a cache of encrypted communications between Kim Kardashian and Diddy. These messages, which spanned several years, painted a disturbing picture of the two working together to cover up Diddy's involvement in a series of violent crimes including the murders of two rival rappers in the late 1990s. Sean Diddy Combs had long been rumored to have ties to organized crime, with whispers of his involvement in the deaths of rappers Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. back in the 1990s. However, these allegations had never been conclusively proven, and Diddy had maintained his innocence throughout the years. But the evidence uncovered by the investigative journalist painted a very different picture. The encrypted messages revealed that Diddy had indeed been behind the murders of Tupac and Biggie, orchestrating the hits through his connections to the notorious street gang, the Bloods. According to the messages, Kardashian had been instrumental in helping Diddy cover his tracks, using her influence and resources to throw off law enforcement and distract the public. She had allegedly provided him with alibis, assisted in the disposal of evidence, and even helped launder money used to pay off the Bloods members who carried out the killings. The revelations were absolutely devastating, not just for Diddy and Kardashian, but for the entire music industry and the legions of fans who had idolized them. 
The sheer scale of the corruption and criminality involved was staggering, and it raised deeply disturbing questions about the lengths to which celebrities will go to protect their wealth and power. The moment the story broke, the public reaction was swift and unforgiving. Kim Kardashian's carefully curated image as a savvy businesswoman and style icon was immediately shattered, replaced by a deeply sinister perception of her as a ruthless, morally bankrupt enabler of violent crime. Fans and critics alike took to social media in droves, expressing their outrage and disgust at the revelations. Kardashian's lucrative endorsement deals and business ventures began to crumble as major brands and partners rushed to distance themselves from the scandal. Her massive social media following plummeted as disillusioned fans turned their backs on her. The fallout extended far beyond Kim's personal and professional life. The Kardashian family's reality show was swiftly canceled, and the entire clan found themselves embroiled in a web of lawsuits, criminal investigations, and public scrutiny. Their once unassailable empire seemed to be crumbling before the world's eyes. As for Diddy, the revelation spelled the end of his storied music career. The rapper and producer was promptly arrested and charged with a litany of crimes, including murder, racketeering, and money laundering. He faced the very real prospect of spending the rest of his life behind bars, a stunning downfall for a man who had once been one of the most powerful and influential figures in the music industry. In the aftermath of the scandal, Kim Kardashian's life spiraled into a whirlwind of chaos and despair. Suddenly, the woman who had built an entire empire on her carefully curated public image found herself the subject of intense public scrutiny and condemnation. As the legal proceedings against her and Diddy began to unfold, Kim was forced to confront the full weight of her actions. She was hit with a barrage of civil lawsuits from the families of Tupac and Biggie, as well as various other individuals and organizations that had been impacted by Diddy's criminal enterprises. The financial toll was staggering, with Kim's once substantial net worth quickly evaporating as she was forced to liquidate assets and pay out massive settlements. But the personal and emotional toll was even more devastating, as she grappled with the realization that everything she had built had been built on a foundation of lies and deceit. Kim's mental health deteriorated rapidly, as she found herself struggling with depression, anxiety, and even suicidal thoughts. She retreated from public life, avoiding the constant media attention and the endless stream of criticism and vitriol directed her way. Even her closest friends and family members turned their backs on her, unable to reconcile the Kim they had known with the ruthless, unethical individual who had been exposed. She found herself utterly alone, her once glittering social circle reduced to a mere shadow of its former self. As the legal proceedings against Kim Kardashian and Diddy continued to unfold, the full extent of their crimes began to come to light. Prosecutors uncovered a vast web of corruption and criminality that extended far beyond the murders of Tupac and Biggie, implicating the duo in a host of other illegal activities. The evidence was overwhelming, and it painted a damning picture of the duo's flagrant disregard for the law and their willingness to trample over anyone who stood in their way. The prosecution laid out a meticulous case, detailing the complex web of financial crimes, bribery, and intimidation tactics the pair had employed to enrich themselves at the expense of innocent victims. Witness after witness took the stand, providing first-hand accounts of the destruction left in the wake of the defendant's and scrupulous actions. From the elderly couple who lost their life savings to the small business owners driven to bankruptcy, the human toll of the crimes became increasingly clear. The defense team tried in vain to poke holes in the prosecution's narrative, but the damning evidence was simply too overwhelming. Emails, bank records, and surveillance footage painted a picture of greed and corruption that was impossible to ignore. As the jury filed into the courtroom to deliver their verdict, an eerie silence fell over the proceedings. The fate of the two defendants now rested in the hands of their peers, who had been entrusted with the solemn responsibility of delivering justice. After deliberating for just few hours, the jury returned with their decision guilty on all counts.